Hey, my name is Tim Shelton with the Home Point team. I want to share with you my favorite visionary verse. It's simple, yet it's powerful. It's a verse that you as a parent can pray for your child, hope for your child, and even begin planning for your child. It's a verse about Jesus when he was a boy. It's at Luke chapter 2, verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. So Jesus really grew in four areas. So you can begin to hope and pray and plan that your child will grow in these same four areas. Now let me give you an example. Let's just break it down. First, and Jesus increased in wisdom. The first area, what's wisdom? A wisdom is simply applying knowledge to life. The knowledge they're learning in school and in church and in the home as you're teaching them and just watching them begin to apply what they learn and, and how they do things. Now there's things you can do to help make sure that happens. For example, you can buy something simple like the if-then chart. You can get it online or at a Christian bookstore. This one happens to show negative behaviors and then Bible verses for each one. Like if they argue or complain and whine, Philippians 2.14, do all things without murmuring or despair or complaining. And over here you could write in rewards. So if you see this behavior, you quote the Bible verse to them, correct their behavior, and then give them a reward based off what you want to write in here. It can be inexpensive or, or it can be simple or whatever their favorite thing is to reward behavior. So it's simple. You're just rewarding them is they're taking what they're learning and applying it to how they how they live. Now also here's a Dave Ramsey piece on chore chart. You can do chores with them. You're just simply teaching and coaching and modeling good behavior and you're modeling a change in their heart so literally they're increasing in wisdom. Now the second part was Jesus increased in stature. Now stature literally means physical developments. You can even help your child grow and de develop physically. Sports is a great outfit outlet for that and you can utilize Bellevue Sports. We have godly coaches here. It's a godly environment. They're going to hear about great devotionals as they play and be coached well. Bellevue is also one of the least expensive ways to play here in town. Boy Scouts, you know, you want to interview your leader, but if you have a good Boy Scout leader, that's a great way for your children to grow, to grow physically and mature and grow in stature. Now, the third way says this, Jesus increased in favor with God. That just means teaching them early on how to obey and honor God. And one of the best ways to do that is a great verse. It's Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first command with a promise. Then it may go well with you. You may live long on the land. You know what the best way to teach your child how to honor and obey God is to teach them to honor and obey you. And if they'll honor and obey you, they'll be much greater chance they'll honor and obey God as they continue to grow. So a great way to teach your child how to increase and see and model for your child increasing in, in favor with God is to teach them to honor and obey you. Now the fourth way is this. Jesus increased in favor with man. So that just simply means interacting with others. So teach them the golden rule out of Luke 6. Teach them that they're to, to treat others the way they don't want to be treated. Teach them, to be, teach them to be respectful and make eye contact and to, and to shake hands and to open doors and, and certain boundaries with the opposite sex. And surround your boy with godly and your girls with, with godly role models around them, whether it's through family or through coaches or through teachers or, or neighbors. Just have a great time with it as you're praying and planning and hoping for your child to increase in all four areas just like Jesus did. Well, there's a lot more like that through our Home Point Resource Center. We want to partner with you as parents. We want to help you learn to be strategic and consistent in your efforts to build faith at home during this very busy season of life. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Tim Shelton, and like you, I'm striving to build faith at home.